Hello everyone, welcome to I Can Has Draw. This is Sherry, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a cute monkey face. Begin by loosely drawing a circle with by keeping your wrist nice and relaxed. Just draw a nice circle there. And then across the middle of your circle, you're going to draw a horizontal line and then another one, a vertical line, intersecting. like that. And then you're going to draw a circle in the lower portion of your big circle. This is going to be the monkey's nose and mouth and chin. Next I'm going to draw the eyes. I'm just drawing two circle halves above the uh, that horizontal line there to just help mark out the proportions of the face. And I'm just going to make the nose and the nostrils here. You can see I'm just using quick little archy lines, nothing really fancy. And then I'm just drawing in the mouth and the the cheeks there, the crease of the mouth. And um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the eyes. And Because this monkey is smiling, I'm putting a little bit of cheek over his eyes. Uh, there's a little highlight there in the pupil. Another one. And we've got a happy little monkey looking at us. Now we need to finish the rest of his his face here. So you can see I made a couple of marks. That's just to line up the ears. General, generally the ears, the top of the ears, line up with the eyebrows. But since this is a cartoon, I'm just using the eyes. So the top of the ears are going to line up with the top of the eyes. And now I'm just creating the top of the head. Um, I want to give this monkey a nice big forehead. It'll help boost the cuteness factor. And then I'm going to kind of give, I guess this is what Curious George looks like. That's all I can really call it. Or, or a Mickey Mouse, kind of a Mickey Mouse hairline there. And it just dips there in the middle like a W, an upside down W. And I'm going to outline his cheeks a little bit. Give him a little more definition. There. I'm just picking and pulling here and there. I'm choosing not to use my eraser because I'm kind of lazy. Um, I don't really want to erase until much later. And I thought, well, let's throw in some hair. So I threw in a couple spikes of hair at the top. And I know this looks awful and messy. Um, I'm just redrawing over what I already did. It looks kind of confusing right now. But, uh... You know, this is how I, this is how I usually draw. I just make things real messy until I'm happy with it, and then I erase whatever it is I don't need, um, which will be coming up here shortly. So bear with me, folks. Uh, if you want to erase it and redraw it, that's fine. You do what makes you comfortable. I'm going to make those ears a little bit bigger, much more monkey-like. This is a monkey, not a person, not a human being. It's a monkey. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with my drawing, so now I'm going to outline everything. Uh, because I don't have my Sharpie marker, I misplaced it somehow. I'm going to use my uh, black marker that came with my Crayola set. It's just as good. I'm just pulling from one end to the next, slowly going around those curves. Woo! That was fun. back around. Woohoo! I'm having fun drawing this monkey. Are you guys having fun? I hope you are. It should be fun. No stress is loud. Stress-free zone. Happy monkey! <laughs> and uh, I'm making this on-the-fly change here. I'm, I hope you guys aren't freaking out. Um, I just as I said, I'm kind of spontaneous like that. I'm just making the eyes a little bit wider and bigger and really pushing that, that cheek over the eye. I just I really want to push those features. I like exaggerating cartoons like that. Okay, I think I've covered everything. So now I'm going to get my kneaded eraser, this awesome little tool here. I'm going to squeeze it and squish it and
put it to work. Get rid of all that mess that I left behind. It's going to look a lot better once all of this crazy, crazy pencil work is out of the way. And as for all my videos, if, if I'm going too fast, um, which I'm, I just happen to draw very quickly, that's, um, but that's my pace. But if it's too fast for you, absolutely, you know, go back, rewind, pause, take your time, um, do what you need to do. A lot of the learning comes from repetition, so if you don't get the drawing right the first time, that's fine. Um, just keep practicing. I find that it helps to do smaller renditions on a piece of paper before I do something big, and that way I'll remember it better, and I'll, I'll do it better. So Try that and see if it helps. Oops. See, that happens to me too. So if, if you wrinkle your paper, don't feel bad. It happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. The show must go on. So now I'm going to color in the monkey's hair. I picked a really light brown. And this is one of those scented markers from my kit. Um... Kind of smells like, uh, gosh, I don't know. It's kind of sweet. Hmm. I'll have to look at the package later. Now I'm going to fill in the face and the ears of the monkey with a kind of a very light skin tone. Again, this this monkey's going to look a little bit like Curious George, so he's going to have a very pale face. And plus it'll make um, putting in the shadows easier. Uh, and that color that I'm using, it looks kind of like a, a peach, but it's, it's more like a very, very light pink, like a cotton candy pink. And that will be fine as well if you want to use a very light pink. So now I'm going to color in the eyes. Just a nice uh, rich brown there. And then I'm going to color in the shadow of the eyes. I'm just I took my lightest blue and I'm doing a little sweeping here along the edge. Not a whole lot because I still need to see that white of the eyes, but just enough to suggest uh, some volume, a little bit of shadow there. And I know it looks kind of weird now, but once we get the pupils in, it won't look quite as weird. But uh, I'm waiting for the marker ink to dry. So moving forward, I've, I've picked the other marker that I've used to color in the shadows on the monkey's hair, because now that part of the drawing is dry. I love his little spikes there in the front, it's so precious. And I'm going to color in the shadow of his ears. This is just a darker pink. Not much darker, just a shade. And I'm going in and just outlining the few crevices to make the, uh, make the face look a little bit more dimensional. He's a cute little guy, isn't he? Okay. Yeah. There. That looks good. Alright, and I know he's looking kind of weird without the pupils, so now I can finally color in the pupils. I just picked a, uh, it's kind of a medium brown, medium to dark. Um, and that's just enough to, to give this monkey the pupils he needs. And there you go. There is your cute monkey face. I really enjoyed uh, drawing this monkey face for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope you enjoyed drawing it as well. Thank you so much for watching and you can has draw.